Hey guys, it's Heather and we are back today. We are, I am, together, or we. <laughs> anyway, we're going to make a card for teachers. This is a very um, strange time that we are living through with this pandemic and school systems and classes and e-learning and everything. And I think that our we should still keep to what we can. And that's going to include um, this year still honoring our teachers like we would any other year. So with that said, I'm going to be making a few of these and sending these to my teacher friends. And I may just make some and send them anonymously to some of the local um, schools around here just to brighten a teacher's day. So with that said, this is the card we're going to be making today. Yes, this is crooked. I'm just going to point it out now. It, <laughs> eight times later, I was like, I'm sticking with it crooked. I finally figured it out. Um, my sticker is on my stamp Cricut. So that's the problem. So I think I fixed that. So when we make this today together, I'm hoping that it um, comes out straight. But we will see. So this is the card and the inside. It has white lining so that you can write. The only pa paper, the paper that you're going to need specifically cut is real red. And you want to cut it to four and a quarter by 11 and it is scored halfway on the 11 inch side at five and a half so you're just going to fold that in half use your bone folder and there's your card base then you're also going to need two pieces of whisper white i did use the thick today um, these you will cut down to four by five and a quarter one is going to be for the lining on the inside, which um, we can do right now. Get that out of the way. Grab my, got it. Grab my stamp and maybe grab my stamp and seal. Oh, get this out of the way. Might as well just do this as we go along, right? There we go. Pop that and center it just like so and then that's it we're gonna set this aside just for now now um, this will be the, on the front and the stamp set we're gonna use two today we're going to be using the buffalo check the plaid background stamp and then we're also gonna be using the harvest hellos we're gonna be using this quite a bit over the next couple weeks so if you have it get it out and if you don't you're gonna want it it's gonna be some fun stuff Okay, so you're just gonna laugh at my little <laughs> my stamparatus today. So here's my stamparatus, and you're gonna say, "What is going on here, Heather?" Well, when I did this, <laughs> I could not find my pad of paper, my grid paper that goes in the stamparatus, and I didn't want to get ink everywhere, and I was afraid it was gonna go over the edge. So I just used a regular piece of white paper. So I'm gonna put it up here to the top. I'm going to put, oh, my magnets come to mama. There we go. And then we're going to ink up the bottom part because that plaid's going to be in black. Now, I did do this twice, just to let you know. Um, the first time I stamped it had more of a gray appearance than it did a black. So I stamped it a second time. The buffalo check... Um, kind of, it reminds me of school, but it also, the plaid skirts and so forth, but it also reminds me of composition notebooks in a way when it's done in the black and white. That's just my own personal thing, so. So see how this is, to me, not dark enough? So we're going to go back over it again. There we go. And perfect. I'm going to set this aside. Get it out of the way. So it makes a mess. Okay, so I need to attach that to my desk, don't I? Okay, so now we're going to, the rest of the card stock I'm going to show you is all scrap. You need a scrap of Whisper White, a scrap of Garden Green, Real Red, Granny Apple Green, and Daffodil Delight. 
And what I have learned is, oh, we are also going to use the punch today, the apple punch. She's pumpkin in that. So what I did was I stamped my little stems first. Let me see here. And then I learned, I figured out it was easier to color them before cutting them out. <laughs> no, seriously, true story, it really was. Let's go this side. So, there we go. And to color them, I am using crumb cake. Crumb cake? Um, no, I'm not. I'm using soft suede. I thought I took crumb cake. Well, shame on me, because that's what I wanted. Anyway, let's just use this because, well, it's already out. These are our regular Stampin' Rant markers. I love these. And here's what I like to do. I like to do all of my stamping first and then do my punches. So the next one is going to be, get my stick set up here, the apple. On the real red. Then we're going to do the apple on the granny apple green. And we're going to do the gray, uh, no, the uh, apple on the daffodil. Isn't that pretty yellow? Reminds me of uh, Golden Delicious Apples. And next will be the, the leaf. So we're gonna have to see which way when I punch it, which direction, I don't remember. This way, okay. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. I'm gonna do another one because I didn't like, this one wasn't dark enough for me. And four. Okay. Now before I put that away, let's do our ribbon real quick. On the back side, put just a little bit of your stamp and seal. We're going to use the real red double stitch satin ribbon. So lay it flat. I don't know which way, because they're both the same now that I look at them. It just fell out that way. Nope, that's not high enough. It looked like it. Let me see, here's my ribbon. Here we go. So it's easier to cut. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna put a little bit of the stamp and seal right here on the ribbon. And right here on the ribbon. Well, maybe. There we go. This is how I'm gonna make sure they're even. I just kind of line them up together. There we go. That's perfect. Until I moved it there. It's a shame, another shame. All right. I'm going to tie it just on this side. Way over here. Hello, you. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, now you're just being rude. There is a difference. No, there's not. <sighs> See what happens when you start overthinking things, guys. I'm just going to put it through. Like that. Just going to trim it up. Like that. There we go. And here comes the crooked stamp. Now, I learned I need to dip to the left just a little bit. <laughs> and see, it's straight. Woohoo! Go, Heather, go. Okay, so this is ready to be put on a card front base. So we're just going to run our adhesive around. I do go below and above 
I've got some adhesive on the front of my thing and it keeps catching. I'm gonna have to clean that up. Okay. There we go. I always go around the outside, make sure there's no adhesive that has come through. Okay. Whoops. Just got a little fray on the edge, sorry about that. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so we're done with the stamp pad. It goes away. Now let's do the punching of the apples. Okay, so we're going to start with the leaf. Just because that was the last one we did. I'm going to... I'll start on this one. Looks like it might be the easiest. I'm trying to get this up so you guys can see it. You know what? Let me turn on another light. Hope that helps. Let's see how I just line it up in my punch. Oh, there's one. Okay. I'm going to do it. Start on this side. I'm going to do the one I don't like just because it's in the way. And there we go. Okay. Now we're going to line up the next one. And the last one, can you see it? I hope you can. There we go. Okay, next is the yellow apple. Oh, punched it a little high. So I'm just gonna take some scissors. I'm just gonna trim off the bottom like this. has a little bit more at the top, but you know what? I'm okay with that. No, I'm not. <laughs> Let's try it again, shall we? Oh. And don't put your stamp pad face down on your desk. It doesn't work as well that way. In fact, I did that on a stamp. And now my stamp, it's just pure ink, but now my stamp looks like it has a, it's a wooden stamp, so now it looks like it has a mold. <laughs> and I'm like, no. That one's much better. Okay, so done with the yellow. Move that aside. Is this too far up? Nope. Yep. Okay. Turn off that bottom. Yeah. When I started to do the video, it was nice and sunny outside. Now, not so much. Okay, and the red. Isn't that a luscious red? Just love this for apples and Christmas and birthdays. All kinds of things. Okay. And last but not least are the stems. The same as we just did. stem. And two stem. And last but not least. Third stem. There we go. Okay, so my scrap paper back side. And now we're going to put them together. So here's our card that I made. Let's put this one together. Now I did use my um, my Tombrow liquid glue for this. So what I did was I'm going to put, I have no fingernails you guys. 
just a little bitty teeny tiny little speck right there and then i'm going to turn this so the wider end is at the top i'm going to come right out of the middle like that i'm just going to lay that down like that to dry let's move on to the greens because it's next on a card i like to go in order realize I did that I was doing it on camera sorry turn it over let it dry for a minute or two okay oh now don't stick to my finger stick to the card stock there you go okay and you know what well that's upside down just because it's drying we could save some time we are going to use dimensionals on the red apple, so we might as well just put those on now. They'll be ready to go. Okay, for the yellow one, we're going to do the leaf right here. And that's a lot of glue, a little too much, so I'm going to take it a little bit off. Oh no, no I'm just going to let it go like that. I'm just going to turn it so it's upside down. The green one's gonna go behind. So just a little. A little dabba do ya. It's a butter commercial too, don't you know? Okay. Just kind of turn that upside down. And the red one is going to go right here. Just a little teeny tiny little dot. coming out of the little center there we go all right what well, i'm doing that i'll be right back i forgot the little red gems we grab those <sighs> okay keep all my current little doodads in a little in a large stamping case Okay, so we're waiting just a couple minutes to do for that to dry. It does not take long. We're just gonna go ahead and scatter out. I should that right there. Love my pick tool. I use that all the time. In fact, I've got one. I'm my station here and I've got one of my little cart that I take around, around the house <sighs> now where's my here it is okay we're going to put some stamp and seal on the back and then we're going to start with it tilting it to the left like that and then the green apple we're going to tilt it a little bit on top of the ribbon but to the right and then the real red apple. It's going to kind of go a little bit to the left, but down below like this. And that's it. And there you have it. Really pretty cards. Send to some teachers. My teacher friends who watch this video, you know who you are. You're going to be getting one. So until next time, thank you guys for joining me. This is the um, Hostess Code, the holiday catalog has gone live i am so excited i can't even begin to tell you we're gonna be uh using some stamps pretty soon from the holiday catalog in fact i think i might do that maybe i might pick one day a week and that's all i do is just i just post something from the holiday catalog so until next time i want you guys to get crafty get creative and have fun see ya